creams, ice creams, two for a pair. Ice creams, ice creams, ice skateboard. I'm all about angels, so I try to do that. But I only ended up with burning stubs right, on my back. back. So that so said, no skateboards back. back. We back. We had some um don't let me do things before the show, technical difficulties. <laughs> <laughs> so my bad, y'all. We are back. I'm happy to be here. How was how was the last time? Uh, Since last time I seen you, how, how you been? Everything's good, brother. No complaints. Uh, Disney. It, Disney was good. Uh, we we got to thank uh, Jordan cool. Brand and the Cause Force for that trip. It was lovely. <sighs> uh, my, my daughter loved Disney, man. But now back to business. Back to business. Back Yo, to- we're back, y'all. I got my man today. I'm very happy. He was actually supposed to be my second guest. <laughs> when I first started, I said, yo, I hit him on Instagram. I was like, yo, man, I, mean, I got a sneaker podcast. I know you I know you got the good stuff. He was like, nah, man, I'm not a sneakerhead. <laughs> I was like, damn. He was like, nah, I'm sorry. I would love to, but I'll pass. Bet. Year yeah. later, <laughs> did I convince you? <laughs> we here. We here. We here. We here. So I'm your host, Sofrito, representative, representative of Flavor, the Sneaker Socialize. I got my co-host here. Loso do Fresco. And today, today we got... You met Ellie. What's going on? DMV. What up? What up? Worldwide. Worldwide? Yeah. I'm worldwide, man. You know what I mean? Can't keep it local. You got to expand your horizons. You know what I mean? It's a All bigger right. network. All right. So as we always do, who is Illy? Illy, shit. It is fucking me. I am what I am. I do what I do. Do yourself. You know what I'm saying? DMV, skateboarding, hip hop, music in general, not just hip hop. Um, and just that's what it is, man. Stay smoking. Bless up. <laughs> Stay smoking. <laughs> Stay smoking. I love it. I love it, dog. I bet. So, Illy, how we met. Every like fly event there was in DC. He was always there. And yeah. this was like from like years ago. <laughs> yeah, I was promoting at the time. Um, you know, the hip hop shit. Just trying to spread the culture out here, you know. And uh been in the game for a minute. Started out with the mic battles and all that in two thousand three. Um, until later on. Um, connected with a partner of my of mine named Bud and um we just started booking shows and that was it. You know, we just helping him out with that. So where are you from? Oh man, that's a tough question, man. Um uh, sh- Born in Santa Ana, California. Moved out to this area, to Maryland, when I was like two years old. I've been back and forth, Maryland, Virginia. Uh, went to three different high schools, Maryland, Virginia, same as elementary school. Um, and I've been spending time in D.C. to skateboarding, man, since like mid, you know, mid-90s. Yeah, it's man. old shit, man. Been skateboarding for a long time. That's that's what I'm first and foremost, you know, as a skateboarder. So skateboarder, so, skateboarding, skateboarding saved my life, man. How 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 was the culture back when you first started skateboarding to the culture now? The skateboard culture, yeah. Oh man, it's a lot more popularized now. You know, it's more mainstream. A lot more mainstream. Back in the day, growing up, you know, we were outsiders. You know I mean, like, yeah. um, I grew up poor as fuck. <laughs> Am I allowed to cuss? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Go ahead, bro. So I grew up poor as fuck. <laughs> I mean, like growing up, and um, you know, at that time, you know, just. Being poor and just angry, man. Just growing up, being an outsider, man. You know what I mean, like, I wasn't able to afford the shit I had now. You know what I mean, I was wearing the same pants three days in a row. You know what I mean, before holes in jeans became popular, I had them shits naturally. You know what I mean, and fucking, I'm talking about going like days, like showering at friends' crib, flipping your boxers inside out. You know what I mean, like that type shit. Or sounds like scrubby a, shit. So the back, the, the the baggy, the baggy skateboard, baggy skateboard, skateboard, man. Just hang out in the street. What, what type of kicks were you guys? Man. Were you guys rocking back then? Just skateboard shit, man. Like. Salvador Barbier type shit. You know what I mean? S's. Um, that was the main shit back in the days. And uh, Shell Toes. Dealer Shell Toes. The skating. Yeah. The skating around that era. That's some real <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, so the sneaker thing started giving me way early. Just being a skateboarder. Um, just going through shoes. I mean, it wasn't about Jordans and all the shit that's going on now. But I mean, every skateboarder loves shoes. Because I mean, that's what we wear every day. That's what we skate in. That's what we go through. You know what I mean? Like, Shoes only last a couple of weeks. You know what I mean? So, for y'all. Yeah, for y'all. I, I, for us, you know what I mean? So it's like growing up, you know, every skater is just in the shoes. They might not be, you know, the shit now, but mostly skate shoes. You know I mean, so my taste, you know, varies from skate shoes to all the shit into fashion shit. You know I mean? So, um, 
but yeah, you know. What, what do you think had a bigger role in the skate world? Hip hop, skateboarding, or sports? That's my favorite question. Skateboarding, hip hop, uh, or sports? Hip hop, definitely. Especially back in the days, you know what I mean? It was um, East Coast shit, you know what I mean? Um, New York back in the day, you know what I mean? I mean, we was running shit back in the day. New York, just East Coast yeah, had yeah. the style, you know what I mean? Skateboarding wise and everything. Um, you know, the West Coast and East Coast got two different styles of skateboarding. You know, the West Coast is more. Um, just go at it fast, just go big. And East Coast is more style. You know, it's about your pop, how high you get the tricks, you know what I mean, and just how you finesse the shit. So, but back in the 90s, this is what it was, man. You mean the hip hop scene, you know, the golden era and all that. So, New York hip hop, New York skateboarding, you mean RIP Harold Hunter, you mean? Who is Harold Hunter? I was about to say Harold Hunter. Harold Hunter. Hunter is an old OG, you OG. mean, one of the first. Um, yeah, I mean, he's like the skateboarding representative of New York basically is like DC's Pepe Martinez. Shout out Pepe Martinez, DC's I thought he was false legend, church. you know what I mean? Um I mean he's from VA. Okay. You know what I mean, but it's D M V so it's all DC because okay. Pulaski Park is in DC so um Pepe Martinez is a what uh D C legend? Yeah, yeah he's a legend. Yeah. Oh, wow. Street legends. Legend. Yeah, street skateboarding legend from the nineties. He uh, still he's still alive? No, nah. nah, he passed away way too early, back in the nineties, like oh, late nineties. Wow. I think he had a head injury from my mistake. Yeah, it was an accident. I mean, oh, um, you ever skate with him? Yeah, I mean, at the time I didn't really know him that tight. You know, he was in that circle, but I was more, you know, like five years younger. Okay. So you know, when, when I show up at the park, I was watching the heads like Reese Forbes, mm. Pepe. Um, Reese Reese is from like DC, Maryland, right? He's from Maryland. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah, because nice. um. I went to, you know, three different high schools, like I said. So I went to Chantilly, and um, out here, the legend was John Ige, you know what I mean, who is a big underground legend who does, I, I think he works for Supreme now, like in, you know, oh, you know these cats Yo, Reese Forbes started as a, Reese well, Forbes pit, is from uh, Poolsville. Was he a pit crew, pit crew skater? Yeah, yeah. Pit, okay. pit, pit crew's a legendary skate shop, you know what I mean, representing out of Maryland for a long time. Um, definitely one of the OGs in the DMV skate community. Um well, he's you know, a when skate I went to, legend. When right? I went to, yeah, when I went to Gaithersburg, I mean, Reese Forbes was a man. And um, whoever said white man couldn't jump. I mean, they never seen Reese Forbes <laughs> skate. I mean, that dude was jumping over picnic tables, like ollieing over picnic tables. Like you the mean, whole picnic. Like, like, no, the, like the shit she was eating on, like over the seat. Yeah, but like, was it? Like doing skateboard tricks over picnic tables. Was like. it was it long way or like <laughs> no, wide I mean, way? No, I mean, long ways, he was sliding it. I mean, so I've seen him do some stuff long ways too. Um, but... I mean, he was jumping over Damn. the joint, like sideways. That's I mean. nuts, bro. I'm, I'm and, getting uh, too old. My knees are so bad, I can't even jump over the sidewalk nah. right now. <laughs> That's why, you mean, a lot of people don't know that. They just know, you mean, a lot of kids now, they just know him from his shoes. I mean, like the SBs mm. and stuff, but Reese is definitely a that DC dude. rep. I mean, yeah. put it put it on the map. Sean Sheffy. Yes, that's another head. I mean, old school, plan B. Um, he's definitely one of the gods, man. Definitely a street skateboarding god. Yeah, shout out. Shout out to Cameron Mike, man. Oh, yeah, yeah, shit. Yeah, he knows the shit. Peace to my man, Mike Black. Yeah, yeah, Finally yeah, here. Shout, shout out, out to Mike. Round of applause. Round of applause, please. Yeah, respect, respect. Yeah. Yes. Thank God. My man, he, he came. He's like, he's like, I'm here. I'm like, yeah. yes. <laughs> I'm like, man. Yeah, I mean, you know, DC's been putting it on for a long time. There's a lot of skaters come out of here. You mean, but. Now, one thing you said, you said, and this is why I love sneakers. You said that these kids only know Reese Forbes because of his shoe, but they don't even know him. But that's one of the things why I love sneakers. I can learn, like, history right. on, a, on a shoe, man. Like, that's so ill to me. Right. So, so I'm glad that you brought that up because that's something I love I to I mean, there's a lot of, you. you mean, like, legendary, you know, Danny Supa. I mean, he's one of the, the OG Nike SB dudes. Yeah, I've you know never mean? even heard of him. He's the original. He's the and, um, Yeah. Should we just get into shoes? Please, like, yeah, let's, let's get into it. it. Let's do it. So before Nike SB, there was Nike Zoom. I mean, and so let me see what I got here. So, you I mean growing up back in that era, I was just running around the streets. I mean, all I was worried about was having money to eat and um, just skateboarding, man. So, you know, you flipped in through the magazines, you see certain shit. What and magazines you were with back in the day? This was, I can't remember, man. It might have either been like a dumb magazine. No, it's probably a skateboard magazine. Uh, this is Danny Supas, yeah. So, uh, <sighs> So I have here, these are Supas, before there was a Nike SB, I mean, because mm -hmm. he's like the OG member. So when I seen this, me being, you know, you asked where I was from, born in the West Coast, raised in the East Coast. Um, my background is kind of like, my blood is Vietnamese. My real dad is Vietnamese, but I never met him. My, you know, my mom is Laos, but I was raised Thai since like the age of two because my mom had remarried. 
And, um, you know, I didn't even know this at the time. You know, my life is kind of crazy. So Danny nice Supa thing. is Thai. I mean, so when I seen this shoe right here mm. in the magazine. I caught these. It was. Look at this. Had to, yo. I couldn't get it at the Look time. At I mean, it's just hard yeah. to find. You know I mean? And um, so that's got the Thai writing. Giving the Thai girl is that there. Th- is the Thai on here? Yeah, that's the Thai writing. Fire. Now, now Lee, so I, I got S D S. Yeah, I, so I, I got I got to ask, man. See, like you have you bringing out gems, but you tell me you're not a sneakerhead when I ask you to be on the show. Yeah, I mean, I don't <laughs> this, know. This yeah. is what I mean, I meant. This is it. You know, the kids nowadays consider gems different we things. I mean, this is like I know, I know, I know, I know. But this is more like look at that. This is more like it might not be expensive, but this is like to the heart right here. This is like this is why you collect shoes. I mean, this is like what it should be about, not about the resale, not about. What you can make off it. I mean, this you is buy like, what yeah, you this love. Childish, yeah. yeah, say that it's again. Like, it's like you know what I mean. Like the young kids, they say they see Jordan all that shit. You know what I mean, but this is the skateboard shit right here. Like, nah, say say what you said in the beginning. You said this is why you collect. Yeah, sneakers. this is it for the love, man. You know what I mean of that person that you saw that you idolized and you just couldn't get it. But this was like my Jordan. Like y'all, you know I mean a lot of people might say Jordan was a man or whatever. Like Iverson, whatever. Like Danny Supa. Like some of these skate cats. You know what I mean. Skateboarders, we set the trends, man, but we don't get that love, really. I mean, but, they don't. But some of these corporate companies, they know, you know what I mean? And that's why some of you know, kids, like, they know what the shoes are, but they don't know the skateboarders, you know what I mean, that started the shoe, so. Why do you think that is? Yeah. It's just the resale and just about the hype nowadays. I mean, there's just so much hype. Um, like, that's just even... what it is nowadays, man. It's just so watered down nowadays, man. That's why I can't get into too much of the hype up shit. Like, even if I like something and then it gets too overhyped, I just... I shot myself away from it, honestly. <laughs> what if, what if you shot yourself away from recently? Uh, just a lot of like Yeezys. I ain't gonna front like Yeezy shit. Shout out my man Loso Del Fresco with yeah, the, I mean, uh, the pink, Yeezys, yeah. it's pink Yeezys on. I mean, unless you're a true Kanye fan <laughs> yeah. and you really, you mean a fan of Kanye, then you can wear the Yeezys and all that. But you gotta know its history. You know what I mean, of course. But I bet a lot of kids are like hate Kanye and all this shit, but they out to get that Yeezy. You know what I mean, right? But it's right, like right, I hate right. him as a person. And all you mean, like, yeah, but, but they still don't wearing know his shit. Because like, they don't know about his music. I mean, because it's see, cool. It's cool to wear. Yeah, you it's know just hype up shit. You know what I mean, and just that, and just like a lot of Jordans. You know, the Jordans been played out now. You know what I mean, yeah. Um, you know, I mean, you've seen it. Kids don't even know how many rings Jordans got, but they, they know how many shoes he got. They know the colorways and all that shit, but they don't know nothing about the man. You know what I mean? And it's just shit like that. Just like. You mean want to shy you away? Just like damn. Mm. I mean, so, I, honestly, I sold all my Jordans. Man, I had a lot of Jordans too, and I sold all those. I had multiple sets of the bands. I had three pairs of bands at one point. So Jordan because, one bands. Yeah. yeah. And, um, they sat. You know, the, the DB threes. The, you know, all outlet, those. the outlet. You know, joints, the outlet. Right? The rabbits. I had all those. I sold everything. And uh, yeah, so this is one shoe right here that's like to the heart. One of my first. You know what I mean, will you ever wear it? You think? Uh, yeah, eventually. I mean, it's a beautiful I'm question. at the point now. You yeah. know, I mean, I'm late. You know I mean, like later in my thirties, so I'm gonna wear everything, man. Yeah, you will. You know I mean, special uh, occasion, right? But actually, you know what? I have some friends or mutual friends with Danny. So this summer, mark my words. This summer, I'm gonna head up to NYC, skate a little bit, and I'm gonna get the man to sign this. Hell and I might yeah. not wear it after I get him to sign. It, I might not wear. It. Yo, yo, yeah. we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna start a but, Kickstarter for Ellie. But but get him to New York. I got, I got multiple shoes. No, we don't even need that, man. I got the money now. Our you know, last, like, uh, our now. last guest, and um, I already got the connect. So it's, it's gonna happen. You know I mean, I'm I'm see him up there. Our I'm last guest there. was is it to P Rods and shit like that. So, um, I got a couple of shoes that are signed. I got some Pusha T Adidas that were signed by the man. The EQTs. Um, you don't yeah. wear them anymore, right? No. Um, I mean they've been worn. I mean, I got the bag sign. You know, they came in the ziplock. Okay, bag. yeah, yeah. So right, I, tough, I did a couple tough. shows with Push. You know what I mean, doing the yeah. promotional shit. Um, actually, did one of the first clip shows in this area that Malice talks about in his, his book. book. Yeah. I, I, which part yeah, was it? Like when, he, when he pages, passed out, it's like pages one ten to one thirteen somewhere around there. Shout out, no Malice, wretched, yeah. pitiful. He talks poor about Brian the show being in Herndon, but it was not in Herndon. It was actually in Silver. Um, it was actually in Sterling, okay. at Ned Devine. Ned Devine. The hotel room was in Herndon. So, but um, uh, but yeah. Well, so, so what was the story? For those who haven't read the book, what was the story he, he wrote about? Um, well, you know, he just said, well, he was going through some other situations, but he gave out a shout out to the show and uh, said that it was one of the best shows he ever did and just the vibe was right. But there were some other situations that he talks about in his book that you just got to get the book and just... No, no, I, I, yeah, I just, you know, I, I yeah. just want to talk about the, the, the show. What, what was so dope about it that he wrote it in the book? That's pretty ill, man. Um, like, big yourself up. He made it into No Malice's yeah. book. I don't know. I mean, I guess it was, <laughs> it was we, the vibe. We, we was doing it right. Yeah. yeah, we just did it right. We had a good guy P area. The, the the venue was right. Um, shout out to Bud Martin, uh, the partner doing that, and um, 
I guess I don't know. I guess it just got out to him. Well, no, there's a lot of. Going on this time. I think there's a lot of whack events, and I think the reason why Virginia doesn't host a lot of hip hop events is because they're not done right. So right. you just said we did it right. How do you yeah. do it? What is what is a hip hop show done right? I mean, what is? I mean, just the promotion's got to be right. I mean, you guys got to have the right connects. I mean, you got to make sure that the people coming in are satisfied. Make sure that you cater to them and um, go extra, man. Just go extra and make them show that you know that you just can handle people coming in and it mm. stands out a lot. I yeah. mean, just the way you take care of your guests, really. It's just like hospitality shit. You know I mean, and uh, just, I guess just working at Marriott. That's just kind of one of my first jobs. Marriott hotels. Shout out Marriott. You know I mean, hospitality <laughs> business. You know I mean, um, you just learn shit like that. You know I mean, just just being polite and just. You know what? Make make the event white. memorable. Yeah, that's yeah, what I'm, yeah. that's what that's I'm working on for my shows. Like, oh my god, yeah, my man came to my yeah, show. I fucking like wasn't them. there. Like, you just know, sure, you know that was sure bad that, Just make sure that everything that they want is there. That's about it. But I do yeah. thank you for showing up, man, even though I wasn't there. Yeah. I feel like an asshole. Yeah. He came through, and he gave me Carmelo Anthony rookie card, rookie cards. Oh, really? You did. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. <laughs> he's <said>, really <laughs> that was you. Okay, yeah. I remember that. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. yeah. I Out of the blue, that. he was like, "Yo, oh, what's I your dress?" About that. Yeah, 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 that's okay, why yeah. I wore the jersey. Oh, the little jersey yeah. joint. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I had those little jerseys for a long time too. Like uh, McDonald's released some joints like back in the days. <laughs> and um, I think I was posting like Carmelo stuff, and you were like, "Yo, what's your address?" I'm like, "Blah blah." Oh yeah. And he yeah. sent me Carmelo cards and a Carmelo jersey that's oh, like yeah. this big. <laughs> that's dope. That's why I wore this. I was like, "Yo, you a real dude." I have so much shit. I just try. I mean, just try to spread the love. Yeah, trust so, me. I would never I wear a Carmelo jersey and I tried for to go no out reason. The with my shit. I mean, so you know, you, know, you so. yeah, you did. I, I it was in the car. He even wrote some free throw for the name. He yeah. didn't for my government. Yeah. I was like, "Yo, you a real dude. Yeah. <laughs> you a real dude." Yeah, so use I, my AKA I, on these I, postcards. I had those for like over ten years, man. Like they released like some Iverson, um, just all the rookies that year, like Iverson. I guess like I don't remember what they had. But they the had Carmelo that. year. Carmelo was yeah. there. Oh, yeah. LeBron, oh, probably three. LeBron. Uh, um, Wade came out that year. Wade. There was a Wade one. Yeah, I remember Dirk Milicek or whatever his name uh, was. And he got second pick from Detroit. And like what a ring. Yeah. yeah, what a bone. Yeah, so I had that for a while, man. And yeah. things happened for a reason, man. So I held on to it for a reason. And, and, I, man, and you got it. Man. I have so, them now. They're in my office. Yeah. I appreciate yeah, that. Yeah, that's what's up, man. All right, so we had the. So we got the Supas from the Zoom. Um, Mikey Zoom era. You know what how, mean? how heavy were you into the SB game? SB, I mean, I'm a skateboarder, so when I heard Nike was coming out with skateboarding like, shoes, oh, shit. I mean, yeah. Is it true that a lot of skaters back then were like, fuck Nike when they announced they were doing the uh, Yeah, SB I mean, project? you got, yeah, I mean, it's still like that. I mean, That's so, it's yeah. kind of crazy. Skateboarding culture is like, you know, it's a lot bigger now. I mean, so you got, I mean, even like back in the day, the thing I love about skateboarding communities is that you could have different types of people that just got along. I mean, like you could have a heavy, heavy metal kid, a hippie kid, a hip hop kid whatever but we we all in the same plaza just skateboarding we're all talking we're all friends like we don't ignore each other we 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 communicate you know? sneakers like we, did that for yeah. me and we get we that get along sad. i mean that's the skateboarding culture like it doesn't matter what where you're from you know? i mean it's we different races thing, everybody you know? just that's yeah what, i mean go to any skateboard did. park or plaza and you're gonna see hip-hop spanish kids or the rocker spanish kid you know rocker black kids rocker hip, you mean hip-hop black kids or asian kids whatever and Ball just skating. I mean, like it's all about one thing. Just, just skateboarding, getting the tricks down, and just vibing together, man, and just having a good time. Remember when you said you interviewed me? You said, "Hey, what do I want the Sohicans to be?" And I like gave you like a fifteen minute answer. Yeah, that's that is what I, I meant. Yeah. That's why I like. That's what I meant right there. I want to go to like, community. As a, as a skateboarder, it's impossible to be like a skateboarding racist. If you a skateboarding racist, then <laughs> I don't know. You out yes. there? You know what I mean? Like you out there? You the wrong be, game. Yeah, you must be out there like <laughs> on a farm by yourself or something. I don't know. But as a skateboarder, it's, it's impossible, man, because we hang out with everybody. That's ill. Yeah. And I, I, that's why that's why it, it hurts. It pains me. I think I've had, like, mad skaters on my show because you guys don't get that credit for yeah, changing I mean, the We worldwide, game. too. I mean, like, it's love everywhere. I mean, I could go to fucking Europe, Brazil, China. It don't matter where the fuck I go. Skaters you know everywhere. Mean? If I see somebody with a skateboarder and they see me with a skateboard, and I'm, you know what I mean, and that's it. That's all. I mean, we that's we'll it. be we'll all be friends. Mean. That's it. I mean, that's all it takes. We that's how. That's a him and I, man. <laughs> he was like, he's like, yo, I like those big puns. It could, be like, a it could be a hip hop Brazilian kid and me, like a rocking American kid. American kid. I mean, you got there, and it don't matter, man. Like you we just both had boards, and that's yeah, it. That's it. That's so, it, man. It's just. So what influenced your style, was, man? Uh, Loso was like, yo, make sure he wears the grill. See. I mean, <laughs> fire. He said, Honestly, make sure he like, wears the grill. Hustling, man. Like I didn't get money till I started hustling, and like. Doing that stuff, going that route, it's about to be able to forge, you know, shit, and not have to worry about the price, really. Mm. 
And that's just what it is. So I'm a parent of two. I'd be like, oh, well, I'm yeah. gonna do this. <laughs> Let me ask you a question because we we into the whole so. sk- skater and clothes right now. Did you ever wear Supreme? Supreme, no. And what? Okay. I so mean, I got know? friends that work for Supreme, and I could easily get Supreme. Yeah. And did you ever? Did you ever get? So you never wore it. Never. Yeah, yeah, like, what do like, you think of the whole? How it is now? The whole Supreme culture. I mean, shout and, out to Supreme. They're getting the money. Shout yeah, out they're skaters, getting the money. Getting money. I mean, yeah. It's hey. a skater brand. Straight yeah, up. I know. I know it. It's a Diamond, little, Diamond used to be hey, a skater brand. In the '90s, it was a little Hundreds skateboard of, shop in Manhattan. That no one cared about but skateboarders. Yeah. Honestly, the way I think Carol about it, Hunter used to hang out there, right? Yeah, I know, and that's one of the things they get credibility for. Yeah. I mean, because they're from New York. Honestly, I it wouldn't even matter. I'm telling you, I I think that it wouldn't have even mattered if it was Supreme or whatever, as long as you would have had that skateboard shop in Manhattan. It would be the first one. You would be where it is right now because I think it was just hype, man. I mean, like the skateboarding thing just kicked in. Um, I'm I'm still fathom, you know, like. I still don't understand how the shirts resell for so much. Just the regular Supreme box shit. I mean, like... 200, 300. I mean, shout out to the skaters. They'll crazy. get money. But that shit's just crazy. I don't understand that part. That Dipset shirt sells for like, what, five, six now? Yeah, I mean, it's crazy. I mean, a lot of this is hype now. I mean, yeah. a lot of a lot of the kids rocking and that don't stuff. Even, and don't even know. Yeah. A yeah. lot of the kids rocking wait. that now don't even know that CM. Supreme is a skate shop. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, I mean, I'm like, glad you said that. This shirt, I'm, I'm calling these people, I'm calling Supreme out. This shirt was made by Classic Material NYC. Okay. They did a Capone and Noriega shirt first, first, and it, it sold. It, it made a little noise, and then when Drink Champs popped off, Supreme released it, and they did the same thing he did. Shout out Carlos! They did the same thing he did, but they put Supreme on it. Yeah, and these kids have no idea mm. who Capone like what never that album. The album. They never heard the album. These kids right now don't even. Care. I ain't gonna lie, man. I bought that CNN board. I got that shit in my house. <laughs> That shit is dope. <laughs> I'm, I love CNN oh, War shit. Report. I remember. When I don't I, even skate, man. I heard that shit was so dope. Yeah, that album was so. I remember when that came out. I mean, yeah. I tried to get hard. a shirt. I tried to get a hoodie. I, dude, Jose it's Luis impossible. Yeah. Everything That's sold out online except the board. I was like, I'm gonna get the board. I'll get something, man. <laughs> yeah, I oh, remember. You got one. another PBR? Yeah, you want one? I would love one. Um, beer break. I remember when um, <laughs> we good, we good. Yeah, no, the CNN shit is hard. I remember when Nori dropped. I mean, everybody was just his flow was just crazy. His voice, yeah, his the, voice. The, the yeah, we're way talking spit and everything. It was just crazy. Salute, at the time. salute. Get your agua. You you've been working out. Bang, bang. Salute. Um, but yeah. So no, talk, talk um, about that crazy but Nori flow. Know, my, but also, like I don't know. I guess what else influenced my style is just um, um, Virginia. You mean being the DMV? And you mean when the Pharrell clips and all that shit, you mean, was popping? I you mean, hey, I'm on it, man. And Pharrell's partner being Asian, I mean, that's another thing. Like, I fucked with him. It's not mainly because of Pharrell. It's because of Chad Hugo. Shout out Chad Filipino. Hugo. Yeah, people yeah, never, you know never talk about, 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 about him. Yeah, never talk about him. Never talk about him. And that's just, you mean, the Asian influence, man. You mean, me being Asian. All right. I mean, um... You're from Virginia. Yeah, from yes, Virginia. Sir. So look, ain't yep. shit to do but cook. We, we were supposed to do this at the end, but we're free flowing. We don't give a damn. I have a joint that I want to do with my guests, who are like hip hop oriented, mm-hmm. called "For the Record." I'm gonna mm-hmm. t- take out a vinyl joint and we're gonna speak on it. And mm-hmm. so, since you just said it before me, hence Loso making them like y'all let's do this now. <laughs> Hell hath no fury. And this this is actually oh. more important than yeah. the than the because look at that. He was, remember they were gangster rapping mm-hmm. and they were rocking. <laughs> Tokyo streetwear. Oh yeah. Oh, he got the he got I mean, ice cream. You know what I mean? And and my man was always ill with it. Like that was the era right there. That man. was the that was our era. And it wasn't just about the hip hop though. Pharrell was skateboard P at the time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. You had the ice cream skate team out at the time. Yo, which, let's, you talk know, about which that. Was, let's talk about that. Why did they? Why did they get hit? Yeah, exactly. Was, I think you about to say it. What is you know, in the skateboard community? Is we got skateboard purists. You know I mean, who just want to keep it skateboarding? Like they don't like the mainstream. You know, like I said, growing up. You know what I mean? When I grew up, like I said, I was poor. You know, I wore the same pants all the time. I had blonde hair. Just anything to be different. So it was just about being different. You know what I mean? If people are doing this, you know, I call them sheeple. If sheeple are doing this, you go the other way. You know I mean, just to be different. Right. You know what I mean? And, um, like, a lot of skateboarders just don't like that shit. Like, they just don't bite into Be a leader, not you know a mean? follower. Like white t-shirt, just whatever, and just skate shoes. You know what I mean? Um... But you mean like when I got into the hustling area, that was when kind of like my style got more from the point. I mean, yeah, because you know like a lot of skaters are just broke, like they're not into that shit, like because they can't afford this. You mean all that shit? So is that why the whole backlash I mean, against that's, BBC? That's, uh, yeah. So I mean, so when ice cream came out, there was flamboyant skaters. You mean like three hundred dollars sweaters and all that you shit. You got a pair, right? Yeah, TK, Terry Kennedy, 
Um, oh yeah, Terry. Jim, you know, shout out Jimmy Garecki, who was one of my uh, hookups when that era was going on. He was sending me shit on the low. Um, shout out to the original plug. The plug. Yeah, <laughs> yeah to the original yeah, so I was plugs. lucky. I mean, I'm, I sold a bunch of that shit too. Uh, I'm kicking my head. Man, I wish I would have kept a lot of that because a lot of that's like considered vintage now. Yeah, I, I, I yeah. see. You brought a pair. Yeah, yeah. Let's talk about this. Okay, so ice cream, ice cream, two for yeah. a pair. Yeah. Remember that joint? So you know that era. Um, Fro had the skate team, and they came out with the boutiques. I mean, and these were numbered right here. I wanted so, these so bad. And just the way Fro had the packaging. I mean, he he partnered up with a dude named Nigo, who was, you know, in the. Japanese yeah. streetwear god, you mean? Like, there would have been that. Man there, would, there would not have been that whole era without this man right here, which who gets no credit. You mean? You don't think he gets credit? I mean, to a certain extent, but a lot of people still don't. They know forgot who about he is. him. Yeah. Yo, yeah. I mean, lot, yo, only this, real heads know. There's probably base cats that don't even know who he if, is. If somebody man, comes right? to me and talks about Nigo, then I know they know yeah. his shit. Yeah, 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 Nigo was that dude. Most yeah, he was that dude. Don't know about this right here, but this is a dude that was giving them their style. Kanye, Pharrell, back in the 2000s. You know I mean? Little Wayne, you, know, you, gotta, you gotta say it. Oh, yeah, I mean, you yeah. know, that's, even, that's though the he, whole, even though he, you yeah. know, Mr. Me Too, but yeah, you yeah, gotta say yeah, it. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, oh, no, no, you do, you know them middleware, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna call them yeah. out. Yeah. So, Mr. Me Too. Man. So, we got track, <laughs> track, hold on, track three. The, the Diamond Mr. Dollars, too. right here. You know Go ahead, boss. Diamond Dollars, and just the packaging is like an ice cream box. Yo, you remember the frenzy? You remember the frenzy for this? And so, it came with the extra shoelaces, you know what I mean? And such good detail on this. Just on the packaging, I mean the quality, the way it pops, and even the laces. You can't see this because it's the black pair, but there's even the cone man on the on the tip here. This is before people were doing this. I mean, this is like you're talking about. When was that? You can't yeah, this, but that is it's 05, right? 04? Yeah. Yep. And so, and it came with the shoe horn, like an ice cream scoop. That's. I mean, that's crazy. Slash keychain. Slash so, keychain. Yeah. My man, my man had to put that in his slash keychain. And um, still unopened. You know, I keep all my shit bagged up. But these are DS. These are what? Yo, these those are, are those are one one two of three thousand. One 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 two of three thousand. Yo, people went ape shit for these. Now, what was the difference between these and the board flips? Um, well, these were the boutiques. These were actually limited. Harder to you get. Know, the the skate team got them, but they weren't numbered. Like they weren't. So who carried them in the area? Uh, Common. Well, Common Wolf was an Common Wolf had a pair, couple pairs. Yeah. But as for like the release at the time, I don't know. Like I said. Yeah, initially, because I know they went through Reebok first. Yeah, yeah. I don't know where they released them because, you know, I wasn't really into the hype at that time. I was just you just cop. Yeah, yeah, you had to cop. Yeah, Look at these. I wanted these so bad. They had the dollar bills. They had the mm, beepers. That, yeah, they yeah. had the cigarettes. The diamonds the, before. So yeah, the diamonds, dollars. What else? They, oh, they, they had so, oh, so, so the dope. quality of those. I mean, even Look at the bottom. You put them together, and it's got you mean the space man. That's a BBC logo before yeah. BBC. Yep. And it right? came with even the keychain, rubber keychain. And actually, I mean, I'm not, the first time I seen these um, was it 2004, 2005. I was walking in Georgetown, and there used to be a place on M Street called Shoe Gallery. They out of business now, but it was there on M Street. Yeah, they carried that. They yeah, they carried, carried a bunch of that. shit. Yeah, they carried a bunch of heat. And um, I used to go by there with my roommate. Yeah, uh, like the Middle Eastern cats used to run there, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I used to get my Air Force Ones there. Yeah. So my roommate, um, he used to, my roommate at the time had like an NSX, like the Acura. So we used to drive down there all the time and and just go in there. And um, one day I went in there and they had these, not these exact pair. They had a white pair with the small dollar bills and mm. the small diamonds. You know what I'm talking about? And um, I remember Slim and they were sitting green there. They were sitting there on the shelf, and I remember they had the keychain on there, and I stole it. <laughs> <laughs> I stole it out of the shoe store, for real, because I was grimy at that time. So whatever. <laughs> But yeah, so it. I was seeing yeah, when I seen yeah. that, yeah, I mean, and then the drop it like his hot video, giving mean, a Pharrell represent VA. Yeah, his partner was Asian, skateboard P, skateboard community. You mean him just blowing that up? Um, I had to. That, I mean, like I had to get the these. Like when era. I started getting money, I had to get these, and these were like the grails that I could not find at the time. These were more like, important than I, Air Force Ones. They I got were more important than Jordans. Yeah, I got the they other were, flavors. They were but, hype. Yeah, I mean, this is like. Like I said, I brought my grails out. You know I mean like this is like, and I thank you for it. Like even this was a fifty dollars shoe. This is still like my shit. I mean like you're not gonna find a DS I mean, pair. Like, yeah. I, mean, I think it goes for a little bit more. I'm not sure exactly, but that shit's on eBay for like three hundred still. Oh uh, really? Yeah. Hell yeah. Sure. Hell yeah. The boutiques. Yeah. Oh hell yeah. 
Yeah, so I had those. I had all the board flips, the ones and twos. Shout out Jimmy Gorecki. I mean, he was sending me those. Plug. And he was si- he, he was yeah. signing a BBC. Yeah, he was part yeah. of the ice cream skate team. He was with the ice cream skate team, so he's getting a lot of BBC. It was and... Kato Williams, uh, his yeah, little brother. brother. Yeah. And what was that uh, little boy's name? Jacob Walder. Was that the little boy? Yeah, he's that a little dude was boy. funny. If you've never seen the the skate ice cream skate team volume one, um, y'all laughed at it then. Watch it now and see how much you look like them now, and they dressed like that ten they years ago. They were ahead of their time, bro. In that same shoe store, though, I remember when I saw those ice creams, right? Um, I was walking and they had babes. I mean, that first time I heard a, I heard a bape, and I seen them in a magazine, but I didn't see them in packages like this. And at the time, it was a Marvel bape. I think it was the Thors that I saw. The yellow, he, the he yellow had, Thors of Marvel Comics. He had him at shoe gallery at that shoe gallery. Yeah, place? he had like a size like oh. ten and a half or eleven. I mean, I'm a size nine, so I was just looking at him. You were like, yeah, damn. I mean, and yeah, I was just like, damn, that's crazy the way he had to package up. So these, are, I mean, these are the, with the DC comics. These are the Supermans. These are the best colorway. One of I mean, my this, favorite colorways. So I brought that one out. This this was right? the uh, when Pharrell was on the In My Mind Steez. Mm-hmm. Look at this. And, and so, they don't even know about this stuff this like is straight, that. Though. Straight from Japan, That's, right? Yeah. I mean, they're perfectionists out there. You mean so you see the quality, you see the ideas and the just release the, the packaging. I mean I mean even the pla- even the plastic packaging's got the bait head on it. I mean it's got stuff inside there to take care of the shoe. These just so tough. it stands up correctly in case you want to hang it. You know what I mean? And just the way they packaged it like a toy was just yeah, crazy. It's and nuts. um when I so when I was slipping through you know, because I was in the card culture at the time also, when I was slipping through the magazine, they had did a spread on the Marvel comic shit. And when I seen that layout, you mean with the Hulks and the Silver Surfers and all that, and the cap, you know, all that, I just fell in love with that little spread and I was like, I have to get it. That's pair. why Nike did that, all those pads, oh, yeah. their Air Force ones. Oh, yeah, we talked about it in the last, the last one. one. I mean, this people, is the reason. Oh, people want to talk about how Bait was biting off Air Force Ones, but when. No. The Air Force I mean, Ones were Because yeah, they were yeah, the first pair of leather yeah, ones. Yeah. Air Force One, Nike, they were just doing regular stuff. But when they seen what Deagle was doing with the patent leathers and all colors. the crazy colors, shit, not even matching, but match. But they match. You know what I mean? Like um, colors that you never thought you would combine into a shoe and just look good and just crazy. Um, they started biting. Yeah, Nike for sure. <laughs> they yeah. had to, man. I mean, like, with, you know I mean, yeah, you could see back in like the Air Force One era when that shit was popping. Like the 05, 06. Yeah. 05, 06, 07. They yeah. did all that. 04, 04 to 07. 07. Yeah, 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 yeah. They did all the, the patent leather shit. Yeah. And they just started, you know, expanding their horizons on PlayStation, different, different things. Yeah, Mr. The World, Cartoon, oh, yeah. the World, Cups. World Cups. There wouldn't be any of those without, without Bape, without, without the Nigo. Yeah, you know what I mean, like, influence. Shout out, yeah. thank you, Nigo. Yeah, 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 thank you, Nigo. <laughs> thank you, Nigo. You done a lot, man. <laughs> man. Um, so also ne- in that time, you know what I mean, like being VA cat. Um, and even I'm being a f- fan of like the Neptunes. Um, what's the know, best Pharrell. Neptunes beat ever? God damn, I don't even know. Best Shit. Neptune's beat ever. Grinding, to me. Grinding, Grinding was tough. <laughs> I remember actually when Grinding, Grinding came was, out. It's so simple, but it's actually. So... I'm gonna tell you, like I was, I was one of the first people to have like the NERD album out here. You mean because I remember when it was MTV Two, like when you blow up on MTV Two, they would just play your video yeah. like one time, like at one or two in the morning, just one time yeah, a day. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean, so you'd have to stay up. And at this time, I was living in Gainesville, and I had no car, so my thing was like I always had a VHS and a tape deck, and so. No bullshit, right? So when like my favorite video came on, you had to would, make your own record shit. Yeah, I would record Yo, my shit, right? I used to right? do that. I used to make I would record things. my shit, right? So I could like watch it anytime. So I would like stay up and wait for the grinding shit to come on. You know what I mean? And be like, Yo, what the fuck is going on here? And you're like, and you're like, Yo, who is this dude? Like Pharrell with the track suit, the gray track suit, he had the and all that shit. He and just gold. Yeah, dude, he was they were so old. Yeah. yeah. I I, um, I bought that Squires jersey because of that. Remember that that it, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Squires. Oh, yeah, Nate, Nate Archer had to get no, 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 that was the king. That was a throwback era. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But you know what I mean. But before I seen that video, they had an infomercial for NERD, and on the infomercial, I don't know, it was like thirty seconds long, but it was them skateboarding, and that's what attracted me. It was like Pharrell, and I don't even know if it was them, but it was like yeah. three, a couple of dudes just skateboarding in the streets, and there was. Talking about this album and me just being a skateboarder on MTV2. You were like, late night. I was like, no, I was like, who are these dudes? Like, yo, skateboarding yeah. and infomercial. And when I copped that album, I you had to order it. You know, it, and, it was uh, hard to find. Yeah, it was hard. It was hard. Yeah, it was hard. I ordered it off the infomercial, whatever, and I got it and it came with a poster. I still have that poster. And um, that shit kind of changed my life, man, just the style that they had because I grew up on heavy metal music. Yeah, I mean, I didn't start listening to hip hop until like ninth grade. 
The but. clips ruined my life. <laughs> they ruined my life. Yeah, so I have to say that. I had that um NERD, you know, and then I seen what Fro was doing with the hip hop stuff, being a producer of that beat. Yeah. You know, just a lot of nori shit. That shit yeah. You know what I mean? And I was like, whoa. You mean that's just crazy. So. Super thug or oh no. A super thug, dog. Yeah, super thug was super. definitely more crazy in the club back in the day. You know that he said that oh no was his most no, expensive but nothing video. was an ill song too. Oh, nothing, Ill, nothing yeah. was. Yeah, back in the day, like uh, there used to be a club called Soul Camp. Um, it's not there no more. I think it's like condominiums or office buildings in DC. <laughs> but it's on Eighth Street. Fuck you, gentrification. I don't say like Thirteenth and Eighth Street. Yeah, but it's like in the back of this alley, and um, it's called Hung Jury. That's what the club was called. But it used to be like the dope. Hip hop spot. Back Hong in the day. I mean, like in the yeah, that's, oh. that's what the venue is called. But the thing was called Soul Camp, and that was every it was every Wednesday, right? So it was like on an odd night. But I mean, you would go there and just be like, you might show up there and like Afro Robbie there. I mean, you might show up there. Fucking Black Moon was there. You know I mean, <laughs> and they wasn't there to perform. They was there just to chill because that's what the Damn. vibe was. You know what I mean, and yeah, and so yeah, man. That was the shit back in the day. I'm a G. Shout out Soul Camp, man. I'm a G. I'm and a G. Uh, that's where I seen the dude Ghost. I mean, he was one of the OG breakdancers there. So when he started breakdancing, um, they used to shut it down. And you mean, it's not there, man. Shout out to my Asian cats yeah. keeping uh, breakdancing alive. Yeah. Those are facts. So <laughs> I'm going to bust these out. Um, N-E-R-D, Pharrell, Bape. I have to get these. Uh. <laughs> he's he's hurting you, man. Ah. Uh, so these are NERD uh, vapes. Ah. Uh, Closet like Planet of the Apes. Monkey see, monkey do, so, monkeys following in place. I don't know. These are like my grails. I guess they're kind of hard to get now. Yeah, Lee, remember the uh, uh, dunks? These were actually. Okay, can I take a picture of this? <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> you already want, okay. Um, remember the NERD high top dunks? They were high top dunks. I remember those. I never seen these ever. Yeah, so these are the NDRD Bay Pistas. Um, shout out to my man, Dennis Soriano on Virginia Beach. Um, these were actually raffled out by Chad and Pharrell when they when these first dropped. How'd you get these? Where'd you do my man, do a homie, friends of friends. Yeah. yeah. See, see how and secretive so, that shit was? Yeah. <laughs> no names. But he's from Virginia Beach and he actually had these. These were raffled out. There's actually a YouTube video of Chad holding these at the raffle at Virginia Beach at some club, and they were raffling them out. And uh, that's what yeah. I need to do. I need so to step my So he can game up and start raffling the, out the size Vegas. nine. God, I mean, and, the uh, sample size nines. No, these aren't samples, but they're the size nine. Oh, okay, one. okay, I got. You. There was another pair, I guess, that were more samples, and it didn't have the vape on here, and the n- colors were switched up, and nobody knows where those are. But there were Pharrell's pair. Supposedly, Pearl had a pair that were made for him that didn't have this, and it was just different. The colors were just mixed up, but it had the NERD, and uh, those are floating around somewhere. Yeah, remember this pan? Remember the pan but, leather era? The pan leather era was so ill. But these are definitely like yeah, these are grails right here. See these? Yeah. And it killed me, y'all sneakerheads. Yeah. Y'all, y'all don't know about this stuff. Yeah. I don't know about this. Stuff. Honestly, I'll be honest, I didn't know this existed. Like I thought the only NERD shit I've seen is that dunk. The, the dunk. That's what I'm oh, saying. The dunk with dunk. the red laces that I've been trying to give well, well, we since day well, one. We might as well go into that too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hurting hurting okay. feelings, bro. Because uh, I know since that's uh, y'all bring that up. Oh, uh, wait, no. Look, um, I can't. Uh, shout out to my man Billy Lee out in Hong Kong. You know what I mean? HK. Um, can I help we actually him? hooked these up. For me, and I got some Yeezys from him too. My man Billy, uh, he was a big oh. New Balance head, and um, he gave me these out of his collection. Uh, he knew Fire. what I was. Now, these are DS size nine, uh, one zero. Will four, you five. wear those one day? Oh, yeah, I'm gonna wear them probably this year. But the you mean, these right here, so I got those. I'm stuck in that piece. No, I saw these on MTV.com. They did these. MTV.com. Oh, really? Yes. That's how I found out about this. That's when he released uh, In Search Of. Oh, or, wow. or was it Fly or Die? 
when they released these. These were Flyer Die. Flyer Die. Okay, yeah. yeah. So they were coming yeah. out with a new album, and mm-hmm. part of the marketing scheme was that they were releasing limited edition. Yeah, albums. and these were actually for charity. My fucking mind. Yeah, they made these for charity. Right. Yeah, um, you couldn't buy. It. You're right. You're yeah, right. You're they right. did these. Um, Halle Berry got a pair, and another graffiti artist. Um, Expo or something like that. Stash probably. No, it wasn't Stash. It was like Expo or something like that. Expo. Yeah, Expo. Yeah, he had the third pair. So, NERD, Halleberry, and Expo had three pairs that came out, and um, they were for Goodwill, and it came with these tags right here, right, and um, each one of them had their own tag, and got their own, picked their own model. I remember these. And so inside the tag, you know, you had the brain, and just a little history on just the donation. This is um, when Dunk was like ruling the world. Actually, no. Yeah, this, this is before it started to rule the world. This yeah, is one of the reasons bit, yeah, why yeah. it ruled the world. Yeah, this is a little bit before. Yeah, this, this is one of the reasons why the, the Dunk kicked in. collecting yeah. hype kicked yeah. in. Then you had like the Dooms, mm-hmm. De Lies, Diamond. This was one of the ones that were like, God damn, man. We're almost, talking so, about I mean, shit, it almost man. was like a VA uh, had to have this pair. You heard me? It's like, yo, I've been looking for the NDR Dunk. I've been looking for the NDR brought it up. Yeah. Yo, yeah, and and let's, let's, yeah, let's. I think we've like deviated every time. I apologize. Virginia, talk and about so, Virginia. I'm gonna shut the hell up. Oh, that Lucy, I got. You know, I'm gonna show you how big of a fan I am right now. Um, I have a flyer from Pharrell's in my mind release party in Virginia Beach before Pharrell was who he is now. You know what I mean, before you know, this is in my mind flyer. Like you only gonna get this if you're a local. They they were handing this out in Virginia Beach for the club release. Shout so, out Virginia Beach. Beach. So here yeah. you had the pieces that. You mean that he was rocking him and Nigo, and on the back Nigo was killing it with those chains, bro. Yeah, you know I mean Granby Street, DJ B. We were just talking DJ about B. DJ B. Yeah. B. So this is from that era. Look at the logo. This, this is the flyer from that era. This is my favorite era. Like, this was my favorite era. This is my favorite era. Oh five. Oh is yeah, this is oh five, oh six. That's my favorite era. Now look who's on there, Commonwealth, bro. People forget the reason why Commonwealth blew up, kinda. And what gave oh, BBC yeah. legitimacy was oh, they yeah. were carrying baby yeah, BBC ice cream. Yeah, Commonwealth was one of the first. Shout out Commonwealth. The first they were the, they were. Up. Yeah, carried the BBC stuff. We, they were the first. And um, I used to have to trek down to Virginia Beach. I was dating this girl at the time. And um, her parents had like a beach house down there. So every summer I went down to her beach house. I would stop in my Commonwealth, get the BBC. I mean, so I'm, this I'm, is like, I'm I, so I, took like this, I took this flyer at the time and I was like, I just held on to it, man, because I'm a big fan. That's history now. This is history now. You yeah. can sell that yeah. shit for money. I'm never going to sell this. No, 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 I'm just saying you could. That's, yeah. that's crazy. Okay, the one day flyer. I see P and I'm going to get him to sign this or something like that. And just, Ooh. Yeah. I mean, this is Yo, from I saw, Virginia Beach. This is mint condition. Sure, I saw yeah. Chad Hugo chilling at an esoteric, uh, eating, uh, eating lunch, and he's oh, weird Chad, as hell. That shit, yeah. I, I met Chad a couple times. <laughs> yeah, so weird. He's weird as shit. I met Chad a couple times at some events, and um, yeah, he's definitely out there. Yeah, yeah, like he—he um, he was just like, yo, he had yeah, school, man. He, had he, blue, crocs, he doesn't man. like to cool. be in the spot. Nah, he had blue crocs, and he was like that too. Yeah, he—he don't, he don't like that. Yeah, and so I got these two. Like, Remember those drinks? The box. Oh yeah. Remember these? And who was it? Uh, Gabriel Gabriel Uris was making the chain. chain. I have one. These are hardest. I have a Jordan. I have a Jordan one. You ain't worn, you ain't worn on the show Uris. yet. I wear it. These are the hardest shit to find now. Like any. I have a Gabriel Uris chain. Golly. So I don't know. Elite Board Shop used to have these. This is why I last for the yeah, yeah, I, still got, the the un- I still got my uncles in that. My man's bringing out. Come on, bro. Class. All you so, other podcasts, y'all, y'all don't do this. Stop. Rare any RD toys. I mean, little dog figure from Flyer Die. That that came. I don't know what to say. I'm back Paris or something like that. Yeah, it's from Paris. Um, Puerto Ricans in Paris is a funny ass movie. No, that's Shout a good one. Out. Yeah, no, I like that one. That's, that's a good ass movie. Yep. That. Oh, I got these buttons. It's like a little kid. Like, yeah. I ain't been this excited in the years. Like, oh, shit. R- released from that era, the flower dives buttons with the little stencil on top. I mean, that's just, that's just stuff to go yeah, with the people shoes. Are, yo, this they Virginia, changed, baby. Yeah, they this changed, Virginia, they man. Changed. They changed the game. This they Virginia did, creativity. Yeah. Shout out 757. Because it wasn't just Virginia has that looked up to these cats. Dude. Nah, it's World, no. worldwide. European oh, no. cats, Asian cats. Like, everybody. I mean, the Neptunes have swag and rejuvenated so many careers. You yeah. I mean, Snoop Dogg, Shout Britney, out to Justin. They, um, they did. They so did. many people. They did, did the whole last Old Dirty Bastard album. That never came out. Yeah. So many people, man. No, no, no. Um, nigga, please. One of the best nigga albums. Nigga, please is old. <laughs> what is it? Nigga, please. One of, the, uh, <laughs> one of my favorite. That's, that's N-E-R-D. <laughs> I got to fit it for three seconds. I was like, what do you mean, nigga? I didn't say nothing to you. <laughs> he was like, you know, I think, nigga, uh, please. Philly's Most Wanted. They have one Philly's of the best. Philly's Most Wanted. They have one of the best. S- such um, a good Neptune's album. produced albums. Yeah. That's Let's like talk about that. Neptune's were still on the DL, but. 
Every beat on that shit was I hard, fuck man. with Melvin they, they Flynn, too. Melvin Flynn's most... Down, man. That yeah. would be like millions of dollars for those beats. Yeah. Um, so these Most Wanted is, mo- is a, it's a tough album, bro. Yeah, yeah. Slept on, too. Yep. That's Kids, up. do your Googles. Adults, do your Googles. Because I right. promise you don't know either. <laughs> I'm, over, I'm over here on the camera. like, nigga, please. I know. He was like... <laughs> but I thought you were telling me, like, like to shut up. Like, nigga, please. Right, you don't know. I'm like, I don't know. Hey, daddy. Baby, I got they changed hip hop. They changed fashion. They changed careers, sneakers. lives. Yeah, bro. Oh yeah. So I was wearing these earlier. I mean, I don't know. Y'all didn't see these, but shout yeah. out, yeah. shout out to Puma Babes. I was like, I said, I said, yo, they, they did a release. These. Did they come with the fat laces, or you put those on? No, those they came like this. So tough. Though. Yeah. So Puma did their thing with Babe. What well, last year? Shout out, yep. Last, um, shout out, but Puma. they did not release these. The suede lows. I mean, and these. So were these hard, are unreleased. Though. Yeah, these are unreleased. These are sample. Flexing ah, on the show, you can baby. see on there. Flexing on yeah. the show. It says sample on there. Size 9. And uh, this came from the plug in, like, the Netherlands. Shout out to the Netherlands. I've been there. I've been to Pata. Yeah, yeah, a lot of people got this in Europe. They and you wear the here, perfect so. sample size, bro. Right? So I got those. Can I take a picture? I'm going to take a picture. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yo. I didn't even know why I asked. <laughs> when I got the low top... And my man got them in Ziploc bags, like they, like they. Bounced. I had to get the mid tops too. You know what I mean, so the oh. mid top samples. Oh. I mean, just the quality on this. I mean, like you can scratch the hell out of this. That bape's not gonna rub off. Thou so, shalt not kill bape or ape. Sorry, sample. ape shall not kill ape. Yeah. You know what I mean, and look inside the shoe. There's got like the super smooth bape camo. Puma bape. You ain't gonna see these. I mean, Did those release? No, these are unreleased. Also, these those are, are unreleased too. So I, I do know a couple people that have them. Are they ever? Are these they ever going to drop? They live in the United States. They live in like Australia. These like were the never going to drop, right? Never. No, Probably not. No. no. These, you saw those pictures. And these will not drop. <laughs> pictures. You yeah. saw pictures yeah. on the internet. We yeah. we touching them. And, and, um, <laughs> I don't know anybody in the states that has them. I just know. Um, I know somebody in the states who has them. You. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not, and I didn't. I didn't bring my black pair. I got a black pair too. That are mid top camos. That tough. Just, my car is small, so I couldn't fit all the boxes. But that was a bunch more stuff I wanted to bring. I just couldn't. I just wanted to look goofy. I mean, you you, you ain't looking goofy right now. I tell you <laughs> that, man. Right? Over, over here, over here, drooling. Yeah, so. he, he over here. I'm I'm having fucking but, spasms. He's over here taking pictures. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, yo. But yeah, I'm gonna bust these out sometime. That's uh, really shout out Puma yeah, one more time. Yeah, these are the hard right here. It's a shame they didn't release these, man, because these could have brought Puma back. But these are fucking the quality on this, the suede and everything. The reason this is this, this hell half no fury, November twenty eighth, two thousand and six. Mm-hmm. I graduated high school. I was going to college at the time, and this album ruined my life. <laughs> ruined it. Ruined. Ruined my life. Mm. What year was that? Two thousand and six, bro. Two thousand six. Okay. I was selling coke at the time. No bullshit, <laughs> and I had no license. And I had no insurance, and I was pushing a green TL. Yeah, yeah. All I want to do is ride man. around shining while yeah. I can afford a penny ice so my wrist so I don't get nauseous. It was like now, man. Like, that shit back in the day was, like, to eat. You know what I mean? Like, I was selling drugs, but I was still, you know what I mean? Like, staying But they the influenced shit you, like that. Oh, this whole culture, man. That's right. I mean, I got a they promo didn't really sticker. influence the drug dealing. It was no, just, not the drug dealing. I was doing that before the clips. Really popular popularized it. I mean, and they gave us legitimacy. Yeah, yeah. like I mean, yo, they, I love hip hop. Where you from, Virginia? Or like the clips? Like yeah, yeah, yeah. They definitely yeah, like the clips. They shit to do, but, but cook. cook. Yep. <laughs> that was my joint. Shout out the clips. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, the, was that, that, was that all the goodies? Um. Yeah, I think that was it for now. Yeah. <sighs> man, that's enough. Man. I know, right? Yeah, too much fire on the table right now. Yeah, the show with the clips. I mean, I did a couple uh, another show in 2010 where we had booked the clips at a state theater. Um, but Malice they didn't show up that's when he well like, Malice was going through his changes at that time right I mean and it was during that time they cancelled a bunch of shows so only Push showed up and um, it was my idea to have Ab Live a show up also mm. so Push and Ab yeah so it ended up basically, basically part of the clips yeah, so, that's Rio Gang you know um, Rio Gang so it had them and Tabby Bonet opened up for them and I had Bombo Sauce open up for them um, but I wanted to have Wale Tabby and the clips but while he was going to London or something like that at the time, I met up with him at Commonwealth and schedules didn't work out. So I ended up booking Mamba Sauce, you know, the local big DC go-go um, rock band. Yeah, they had um, a big hit. 
and just did that, man. But that was that era, and um, Push came and rocked that. And that was like his that first was, solo show, right? That was one of them. Yeah, that was before he became Push the T. And I remember going backstage, you know, in the back room, and it was him and his little crew, and they was all standing there. And I remember walking down a conversation, and him just being back there, like, kind of just second guessing himself, like, man, I don't know, you know. And I walked in there, just like with all these dudes, like, yo, this is Virginia, man. No matter what you do, they gonna love you, dog. And I don't remember if I was buzzed or what, but that's what I said. And he just looked at me kind of crazy. I was like, right, right, go ahead, go ahead, you know. And uh, yeah, that's so I'll true. Never forget that. Push the ticket, yeah, man. Yeah. Do you month, know? Hey, and then months later, he's on he's, good music he's, yeah. and he's doing solo shit. Up. So you, I mean, you know, to push, man. You know, people. You know, I broke my heart with the Little Wayne explosion because he had literally said "fuck Virginia" in an interview, and then like six months later, he blew up, and like people from Virginia loved him. I was like, he just dissed us, right? I ain't bought a Little Wayne album, supported or nothing of his since like Carter. I never. Two. I was never into. Lil I like Carter Wayne, too. I ain't gonna fuck Carter Little Wayne. Dog. I like Carter too, man. I go. I mean, I was around hip hop for a while, so I remember when. It was New York hip hop and then like Hot Boys and shit like that. Dropped. It wasn't no Lil Wayne. It was Hot Boys. Hot yeah, boys. I mean, and everybody gets your roll you were, on. You the everybody, you everybody gets your roll on. Yeah, but what? majority of the motherfuckers up here hated that shit, right? But my one friend John Ige, you know, I mean, East Coast legend, Chantilly legend, who works for Supreme now or whatever, um, he was on that Hot Boys shit. I, I remember, he was on man. it. Yeah, he was on it, and I was like, what? And he, his favorite rapper out of that squad was Lil Wayne. Look at him. And uh, blew, I was, blew up. I mean, this is like back in the East Coast Golden Era time. You're like, honestly, I don't know, man. I think the last time that and years East later, Lil Wayne is what he is now. You mean like he skateboards now and shit? So I'm like, damn. So my man John. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I think the last the strong. Design, I think the last strong year for New York rap was '98. Strong <laughs> year? I think that was the last like year that New York really like ruled. It. Nah, nah, nah. The Rockefeller, so? like O2. Oh three, yeah, the whole rock. So you think when rock yeah, but, but, that's about when it was well, like, yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's more like flossy era. That's when everybody was doing throwbacks. Yeah, yeah, all the jerseys I, that era. I, I, look, yo, ninety eight, Capital Punishment. Yeah, I, I love Dipset, so I uh, Dipset, yo, I, was big Dipset I fuck with Dipset. Oh yeah, when Dipset came out, Dipset was. Yeah, I almost brought Diplomatic Immunity, and I did. That's <laughs> because yeah, the Heat Makers beat. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, yeah, everybody hated the, the rhymes. Yeah, he would yeah. shit on Jewels and Jim Jones. Oh, you were either a fan day. or you didn't like right. Them. Either you uh, love yeah. Dipset or you, oh, you hate, hate Dipset. Dip Most those, of my boys hate Dipset. Yeah. Those beats were so hard, man. I was on Dipset. Dip my that. fuck with Dipset. I got a whole collection, a whole selection. Mm-hmm. I got a whole <laughs> selection <laughs> from my whole collection. <laughs> uh-huh. That was his rap. <laughs> yep. And I love Jewels, man. That was his line. That's terrible. Damn. Yeah, I think that's <laughs> the last like New York crew. Yeah, well, that's true. Well, yeah, G Unit. Yeah, you know, I, yo, I've been listening to Old Fifty Cent. Fifty Cent was that no, dude. 50 was like, I was... didn't fuck with him though at the time. Yeah, oh, you didn't fuck with him? No, oh, I fuck with him. Oh, back in the day. I have a hip hop confession. I've never heard "Get Rich or Die Trying" in its entirety. Oh wow! Yeah. I don't think I've either. I've, I've, I've heard heard never songs. heard it. Yeah, I've never heard it. It's in a movie. Entirety. I heard a couple songs, but never. Um, I mean, I remember back when Fifty was on the mixtape. Still, I was on that yeah. circuit. So I oh yeah, like all the I early G unit. I got. Guess who's back and shit. when Eminem was before he was, you know what I mean? Like, when he was on the mixtape circuit, yeah. still flowing, just crazy shit. Um, before he blew the fuck up off his first album. But I remember that era too, man. Now, hold up. Now, we ain't gonna end the show without you talking about you rapping. You an MC, kid. Uh-huh. I mean, I'm not really MC. I just do it for the love, man. You so. released a music video. Yeah, I mean, I do a couple things. It's a, <laughs> a few music videos. <laughs> I peeped you them. Look, you mean, I was working on some stuff for overseas. And I tried to put some people on in the DMV, but they just didn't believe on my vision and just trying to go overseas and just trying to attack that market. So I felt like I had to do it myself. Do you, do you know? So I just started writing and and I did a couple of videos. And um, I mean, I'm not expecting to be like a rapper or nothing like that. I just, I just, just kind of like I just did it for myself. You know what I mean, I remember we were at a sneaker show. We were at Shootopia, and he goes, he goes, yo. I said, what you about to do, Lee? He was like, uh, I, I remember you were wearing babe camo shorts, and you were pissed because everybody was wearing camo shorts, and you were like, yo, I wish I didn't wear these. Everybody's wearing camo shorts. <laughs> so I said, Lee, what you? I said, what you been up to? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And you were like, I'm about to go to uh, South, South South Asia or something, and I'm about to go find the new Wu Tang Clan that's really Chinese. I'm like, word. <laughs> That's what he, that's what yeah, he said to me. Yeah, no, he's, he said it. He was like, I'm going to go to Indonesia. I'm going to Thailand. I'm going to find yeah. these rappers. I'm like, for real? Yeah. Like, he was like, for real yeah. about that. Take it international, man. It's about spreading the culture and just spreading the love of hip-hop, man. I mean, like, a lot of people... I mean, in the States now, people are just... I don't think they love hip-hop as much as other countries do, man. They don't. They don't. Uh, like, oh, yeah, yeah you overseas, overseas is Japan, bigger. Asia, it's just a lot of other countries, these, man. And they respect hip-hop. I mean, they, they, they understand more than the kids here. Yeah, you know what I mean? Europe. Like, 
the kids now in this area, they just lost. It's like what real hip hop is, and it's crazy that, that, that damn overseas phone, are people. This damn internet. That's how man. you get the golden era. Like rappers still eating nowadays because they doing shows like overseas and all that. Yeah, you just want... met the man, Red Man. They still doing shows. Molly I mean, like, said, DJ shit. Doo-Wop, <laughs> AZ on tour. They all going overseas, man. They getting that money. I mean, that yen money, all that stuff, man. It's paying the bills. And the shout out to them, man. Much yeah, okay. in the euros. Yeah, right. Euros. Yeah, I'm about to say you're like, yeah, I gotta pay my rent. How are you gonna pay, sir? Yeah, in me, euros. Yeah, let me go to let me go to Netherlands. <laughs> you know what I mean? Let me go get some euros. I real can't. Quick. I can't do it in New York. It, it was... Ain't that a damn shame? But yeah. now you know what I always did. I I always associated the sneaker game with the hip hop game. Right. When like the sneaker game was really cool, that's when you had like original cats. Like it was cool. Like you knew you based a hip hop MC off of his style. Mm-hmm. You yeah. know, when the internet broke and anybody could be a rapper, that's when anybody could be a sneakerhead. Like yeah. when the sneakers are doing good, hip hop is doing good. Right. When hip hop is doing bad, I think sneakers are doing bad. Yeah. Back in the day, hip hop influenced corporate sneakers. It's now, all controlled, sneakers man. Because there was a few of us that like all that is controlled by the corporate yeah, government. It is. Is this bigger? You're very, you're very anarchy. anarchy. I'm about to say, yeah. 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 <laughs> like, he had a grin. He was like, he was like <laughs> anarchy. I was like, I remember. That's a, that's Hold a on. Bigger picture, all that, man. but yeah, you know, the corporations control all that, man. They they run everybody. See, before man. that's they, not true. We we controlled them. Yeah, used to. What I mean, happened? But remember back Let's in the stand days, up. internet, bro. You know, remember back in the days when rappers used to start their own labels yep. and put out lyrical hip hop shit that motherfuckers could learn from. Yep. Yeah, I mean, and attack yeah, yeah. these systems. And um, Zach the system Rocha, got, Karis, one, the system got smart to all that shit, man. And now they putting out this bougie trap shit. You mean they want you to buy that Versace, Versace, Versace? You know what I mean they, that's what they putting out, and they control the market, man. And that's what they putting out, and people just feeding on that shit. You I mean whatever they put out, the people gonna bite into. You know what I mean, and they were scared of the lyricism and all that shit that people were doing back in the days. You know what I mean, so you see what happened to Biggie and Tupac, especially and all that. You know what I mean Big L and um. Uh, yeah, so now you it's just murder. about it's more, now it's more about promotion. Hip hop, they trying to turn into a marketing promotion. So if you ain't rapping about Louis and shit, you can buy then they don't want to put that shit on the radio because it's about generating money now. I mean, but when you start spitting about real shit, Joey Badass, shout, shout out Joey Badass album, yeah. all that shit. I mean, when you start spitting that shit, they ain't gonna promote your shit. And they gonna hold you down. I mean, that's why that's why he's kind of been in the position that he is, man, because he's spitting too real. And, uh, it's yeah. true, man. I I, I hate, I hate now, that. Man. That's why you got a lot of rappers now. You mean you see what the era is now? It's like about dancing, the dances, and you know and the drugs. Of, a lot of the drug talk. Back, Hills. You know I mean? It's mm-hmm. just about Percocets, the Molly Percocets. Hey, and that's what they push it on the youth. Yeah, and it's all part of the game that they that they're using to control the people, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah that might sound crazy, but that's just no, how it's I feel. real. It's so, true. I mean, that's just how I feel, man. And that's that's what they exploit, and that's I'm what a, they're doing. It's it's all on purpose, man. I remember when like the young cats would collaborate with the older cats, it's not because no they were hot, because they were lyrical. Mm-hmm. They you wanted to be your mentor. Cannabis got into a beef with LL because of that. You know what I mean? And that's what these kids nowadays don't. What want do you guys think them. about little kids? All the little kids now that are so into the sneaker and game. So, um, I think they just need to do their history, man, and just learn. You mean more about? The shit. I mean, not just about like reselling, know how much you can make off it, and then how much is gonna go for on eBay. But actually, just don't cop the motherfucking shoe if you're not gonna wear it. That's how I feel. If you're not gonna wear it, don't cop it. I mean, unless it's really sentimental shit, like you only gonna get that pair, and right, it's from your favorite athlete or whatever. Um, I can see that, but man, all that resale shit just is out the window, man. That's kind of why I shied away from like all the Yeezys and all that shit. I mean, I can afford that shit, but Nike Yeezys or Adidas right. Yeezys. I mean the Yeezy shit. I mean, you mean all the Adidas stuff. You make him like, pick lot, one though. Right? Like you know, I'm a, big, you... I'm a big fan of Pharrell and all that, but I'm not even buying a Pharrell stuff now, honestly, because it's just the new joints oh, that the he Adidas. did. The, wait, wait, the joints he just it's did dope. with the uh, but it's just so cushion, right now. It's just like the yellow was dope. kids just don't even understand. You mean the whole culture? So it's just like I don't the know. human race. I'm almost out of it, man. Like I mean, like, but you still. But see, I, you're I love in sneakers, it, so you mean like I'm a true sneaker, so I love it. You mean like when I see something, I just gotta have it. But honestly, like the whole just buying just to have it, all that shit. And that's what makes man. you a sneakerhead. When you yeah. ask me, you're like, I was a sneaker. I'm like, yes, you are. Because you have to yeah. have it. Gotta you know, have it. You gotta have it. Yeah. All right, boss. Anything you want to say before we get, we head out of here? Then we're going to do low uh, some lows. Man, just... Uh, and thank you, by the way. <laughs> I had nah, like six me, orgasms. Pause. <laughs> I haven't. I, I used to see these, and I know I, I knew I could never get them. So nah, thank man. you for for, good to share, man. for like stunt, man. man. No, I appreciate it. Well, you know why I wanted to have you on here. And I, I told you this off the mic, and I want you to know this. There's a lot of cats in the scene in your local area who's like really dope or really fly, mm-hmm. and they don't get the love. The guy who bit them gets the love and mm-hmm. the shine. And I want people to remember <laughs> you for you. So, like, when somebody goes, yo, you remember Ill? Man, you remember Illy? You remember Lee? 
who? Oh, yeah, Kev with the grill, smoke, da da da. And, <laughs> yo, and, and they'd be like, yo, who is that? You can go watch this and be like, this was him. You know, like, there's a lot. I watched a lot of documentaries. So, like, you'll see the cat from Cali or New York or, like, bumfuck nowhere. And, like, he don't get the props. Yo, Lee. But what, he was the reason. What's your Insta? Tell them your social medias. Uh, my Insta is I double L double E underscore Billy underscore. Twitter? And no. um, Twitter, I don't really do Twitter too much, but that's just Twitter. at Ellie, I L L E E. Um, but you know, that's linked to my Instagram. Okay. And, uh, cool. Yeah. Canary Diamonds. Canary, Canary Diamonds. Diamonds. Check that out, YouTube. I double L double E. Canary Diamonds. Now, um, why is it Ellie Amor? Um, well, my last name, my real last name is Aborising. So Amor. it's no gimmick. You know what I mean? It's not just yeah. love. like that's the beginning of my Obi real last Trice, name. real yeah. name, no gimmicks. Yeah. <laughs> no, but that's yeah. dope. It's More dope. is love, yeah. and you know, yeah. Illy and love. Um, a lot of my friends used to say I'm sick. You know what I mean, so, so I sick just put love. that in and Ill and Lee. It's my real yeah. name, so that's how I get the Illy Amor. You know what I mean, and, uh, you sick? <laughs> you sick? Hey man, I'm just living, just trying to be happy. Be happy with yourself. You know what I mean, treat the people around you right. You know, positive energy activates constant elevation. Positive vibes, baby. Yes, sir. By positive yeah. vibes. And uh, stop the hating. And uh, just be yourself, man. Don't be scared to be yourself. And that's it, man. And you don't got to worry about what the next man is doing and how much the next man is making, man. Just, okay. just be yourself. Bless up. All Stay right. smoking. Hell yeah. yeah. But he's, that's why my microphone wasn't working, man. Like, <laughs> <laughs> he, was, he was spreading the love. I was sitting there like... I was like, bro, you all right? <laughs> He's worth the love. I love him. All right, y'all. Before we get out of here, we're going to do our segment, special segment, Low So Knows, where I'm going to shut the hell up, and my man here right, you 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 is going to tell you what you need to cop well, in the well, future. Well, me and Lee already talked about this. Uh, Nike SB is dropping the uh-huh. Reese Forbes. Yeah. The wheat highs that dropped how many years ago? Years ago. 15 years ago. Yeah. They, 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 they mean, do your dropping in the them in low. They're dropping them in the lows. Um, I guess they're bringing back the fat tongue. Mm-hmm. I, I think I'm a cop. Them things are hot. You know, the thing with the fat tongue, before they were doing the fat tongue, remember I used to say I used to skateboard in shell toes. And uh, back in the day, I used to wear one sock. And I used to have another sock that I would just wrap around my toe. You know what I mean? With the back end of the sock. And I used to roll the sock up and stuff it, like, on the top of my foot. To and, and, then, fat wow. and then put on the shell toe. You know what I mean? Shout out to my man Phil. Because me and him in Maryland, we used to do that shit. And uh, to puff the tongue out so it would stand up. So back here, you would have a rolled up sock Is it for, that was it, cupped on your foot. Was there a reason for that? Just to look fresh, yo. Fresh? Just yeah. so that when you had them baggy yeah. ass jeans, just so when you had them baggy ass jeans, you know what I mean? The tongue was puffing out. And when you did your kick flips and heel flips, you mean the shit just looked right. And, uh, dope. Shout out to my skaters, yeah. man. I love yeah. you guys. Even my though it looks stupid. Every knows. now and then the shoe would fall off and you had this rolled ass, you know what I mean? Extra sock coming off. But fuck it, man. You gotta look good, dog. You only live once, man. Nike SB, hopefully it comes back. You think it'll come back? Hopefully, man. Hey, hopefully, man. Hopefully. Skateboarders run the trends. Remember Let's that. Let's do it, man. Let's bring that back. Uh, Jordan Brand, what they're bringing? Playoff uh, 13s are coming back for like the 100th time. Um, mm-hmm. Off White collab with uh, Jordan 1 and Off White doing He's a collab. He's also a skateboarder, Virgil. Was he a skateboarder? Yeah, he used to I skate. Did not know so, that. Did yeah. you know that? Skateboarder uh, set the trends. I yeah. also well, don't know. Well, well, I, I know. <laughs> I also don't know. Off white collab, Jordan one, three fifty. They're crazy, man. I don't, IBM Jasper. They're, he they're skates. Just, it's you know a crazy mean? shoe. Um, what else? Jordan eleven lows come out next week. Um, and uh, I think Adidas is bringing a new Ronnie Fake collab. That's about Ronnie to drop. Ronnie Fake been killing it, bro. Yeah, Ronnie, is it Fag or Fag? I don't even care. Yeah, he's killing he's it. Killing it. Yeah. <laughs> he's some people like him, some people don't. Uh, the, bringing back another Adidas, Green Yeezy's about to drop. Yeezy V2s, um, like an olive looking one. I saw that. Um, yeah. What you think about it? Sorry, I'll probably get it just to train. I can't do the shock suit, like the sock shoe thing. Yeah. So oh, like this. So whack. Yeah, I can't There's do that. No, yeah. this, has this has personality. Yeah. This has personality. This has personality. This has personality. That shit ain't got no personality. It's, it's, it's a detail. It's saying this doesn't have personality. That has no personality. <laughs> I mean, it's like Kanye <laughs> shoe, but just to get the detail, it's kind of like more Yo, simple. like Dallas Pennington. Kind of Peter Pan joins. <laughs> and uh, that's about it, bro. Real simple. Right. That's all that's dropping. That's it? Anything That's else? Really? Anything else? Yo, shout out. Shout outs real quick. So Frito shout outs. Shout out my man Lee. 
Shout like out to Lee. shitting on everybody. Shout out to my man Mike Black. Shout out my co-host Losa Del Fresco. Shout out Carlos Classic Material and Y for that ill shirt. Shout out Commonwealth for, for for like just being the originators. We'll do an interview one day. I'm I'm nervous to ask them. I don't know why. Man, just I'm ask stupid, them. Bro. We'll I know, go to I know. that. We're gonna yeah. We'll go to uh, that. Shout out, I mean, shout out DMV, what's shout com- out Virginia what, Beach. What's coming up for, for us? Whoa. What is coming up for us? Premium Pete. Premium Pete, uh, Port Day Parade episodes. I'm going to hit New York, hit people that I know in New York. We're going to uh, TTK, Kissy Jixi. Can maybe get Pete and Dallas together? Ooh, Sneaker Fiends Unite. Might have to do that. Yeah. Uh, Father's Day edition. Abdul, we got to get you on for Father's Bro, Day. Bro, just get him on. I'm not being stupid, man. I don't know. Just, uh, he'll what, do what it. Else, what else we got? Oh, we have we have started the official Last of the Sohegans Instagram page. Completely, hundred percent dedicated to just so he can the so he can strap so he can post videos, things on the our last desk, anything. of the so he can on Instagram. That's what it is. Last of the so he can follow us. We're gonna start following you. You guys know. Yeah, we'll, we'll get it. We'll get you there. Um, shit. I think. I think. I think that's okay. it. Shout out! Shout out to my seven zero three three zero one five four zero seven five seven eight zero four two zero two. The whole DMV man. What's the whole sneaker culture. 301. 301, 301. yeah. Okay, yeah. making sure I 242, too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. So, make sure you go on there. iTunes, subscribe. YouTube, subscribe. I'm your boy, Sofrito, representing with Flavor, Sneaker Socializer. My man, Ilya Moore, shining. My man, Losa Del Fresco, my right hand, like 100 grand or something like that. I know you understand. Ooh, killing it. Peace, y'all. He's sober. He's sober. I'm sober. So, he can special bonus feature. My man, Ilya. About to spit some hot shh for that ass. It's my capella. Check, Mike, check. Yo, you should have known that this kid came wicked. Everybody talking, but nobody want to listen. How about if I see your bitch? I just might stick it. I'm from around D.C., but I ain't no politician. When you see me in these streets smoking on my weed, I might buy a pair of shoes every fucking week because I got game. Some of y'all so lame. Want to talk shit, man? You better take aim. Fuck the fame. I'm out for the money. When you see me in the streets, man, I'm never looking bummy. Rap crack for the junkies. Got dick for you mommies. So much pride. You can never take it from me. God damn, I'm really something. Jackie Tan, I'm stunting. Damn. I stay high just to maintain my soul Observe people and watch their games unfold I got issues of trust so my love stays cold I'm a hustler at heart so the game's so not told Catch me in DC skating through the city blocks Or in the club VIP taking back shots